All right, how you doing today? Today we're gonna to take a look at the UJAM Hitmaker Bundle, which is the Virtual Instrument Drummer Solid, the Virtual Bassist Royale, Virtual Guitarist Amber, all included in one bundle. Um, you can check out my other videos for a bunch of other demos of some of the other products. Also, please do subscribe to the channel. I also have hundreds of other videos in my back catalog of different music production stuff. And if you're interested in music production classes, check out my reviews for the monthly.com classes. I did all the ones that are available at this time with Louis Bell, Blanks, Kygo, Charlie Puth, uh, Ryan Tedder, all those different kind of things like that as well. Check those out too. Anyways, let's get into this. So this is the UJAM bundle that they have here on their website. You could buy these plugins individually, of course. You could buy them all together. They have different bundles. They have a different basses. They have different drummers. They have different guitar player ones. But today I'm just going to use this bundle and check it out and let's go. So first up, I'm just going to play a really quick demo here that I made just using the, the amber, the bass and the drums. And I actually added in their use synth instrument for just for some uh, chords here. And I'll, then I'll go back and we'll just I'll make a whole complete tra track like this from scratch. Show you how quick and easy it kind of is to get going. So here's just something I created pretty quickly. I'm going to play it real quick for you. Here we go. All right, so cool. As you can see there, there's a couple of instruments going. So first up, I'm just gonna go over a brief, quickly, Amber here real quick. We have different phrases that you can play. We have different style phrases, and then we have different chords. Now, the difference between the chord phrases and the style phrases, the chord, the, the common phrases never change. They're always the same. With any preset that you use up here, the style changes phrases rather are going to change depending on your preset that's right here we have different kind of styles all kind of different rhythms and then the way you trigger them are right here with the chords now we can play minor chords we can play major chords and this is on your keyboard starting at the c4 so if i just hit a c key by itself i get a c major chord i could do minor actually that's major but uh there's a c minor i can even play the same minor chord or just play the, the flat third of that chord. Then we got like fourths and stuff. So plus fourth, plus two. So very easily you could get chords, F, whatever. And then we have the different phrases up here and we could use these key switches too. So the pattern is just keep on a loop. It just kind of changes depending on this, the, the key switches that you have on your MIDI file that you're gonna create when you do this. like that and then we have a bunch of different settings down here for guitar the source of the pickups and stuff like that not pickups but actually mic and pickup yeah there's is, is a pickup so the mic settings and then the shimmer and different tone of the guitar and stuff like that doubling and all that kind of stuff now the bass plugin kind of works the same way we have the common phrases style phrases and then the, the where you play everything then we have different amps down here different characteristics of the bass you can switch between the pickups this we could also switch into an instrument mode where we could actually play the bass on the keyboard. And then we have some key switches down here for the slides and mute and stuff like that. So we could do that too if you don't want to use the, the included patterns. Whatever. So yeah, pretty cool. And also, should mention this. This has the MIDI patterns here too that you can drag into your DAW. You just kind of take that little thing there, drag it into your DAW, and you're good to go. Now, the drums... Again, same way. All these, all their products kind of work the same way. Uh, the thing different about the drummer is you have your drum kit down here. You can play on your keyboard, and you don't have to switch between instrument mode and and pattern mode. We got all these different patterns down here. The drums, and we can change that up here. We all kind of different kit sounds. For example.
So change the sound of the kit and all these other different effects. Uh, and we have multiple outputs too for your DAW if you want to do multiple instruments. So you can you know go further with the kick, snare, hi hats, and all that stuff. Anyways, let's build a track here. Let's check it out. All right. So I'm just going to create a really quick chord progression here that we're going to bounce around off of. And let's just try. Actually, let's try this. Let's try one of these. Let's try Abba Dance of Queen. We'll do the verse of Dance and Queen. See what happens. I have no idea. I'm just doing this all randomly right now. So we have this MIDI part here. It should be just the chords. Again, this is the U synth that I'm playing it on right now. Push the tempo up a little bit. Anyways, we don't have to play the whole thing. But so now for the guitar, since the chord part is starts at a C3 range, I'm just going to copy this chord progression, put it on here. I'm going to have to get rid of some of the notes because there's, as you can see, there's lots of notes. We don't want these triggering the chord, the guitar part. So first of all, let's zoom in here a little bit. Again, I could have just played the chords in, but this is kind of a fun way to do it too. Um, so let's get rid of these bass notes and such. So now we're gonna be triggering the chords. All right, see, as you can see, the, the mini notes are still triggering those chords, the chord changes, style changes, I should say, phrases, all these different names for things. Anyways, so let's go back in here. Oh, okay, because the C4 is where the triggering starts, that's why. But I kind of like how it changed it, the patterns, so we could even try to keep some of that. Do the same thing for the bass. So we got something going already. We'll throw some drum patterns down here. Let's just take a, uh, that's a cool beat right there, right off the bat. Let's drag that MIDI pattern over here. And then we'll get some fills here as well. So we can drag that fill, put it here for now. loop that now this chords at the end here are kind of interesting with the guitar rhythms that we're playing so let's just see what this sounds like right off the bat we'll even mute the chords See, as you can see here, instantly we have a nice sounding backing track that we start tweaking further. Now we could run through some different uh, sounds for each instrument, so let's try that in different patterns as well. So let's just see what this sounds like. So we just instantly change the guitar part. We could change the bass part really quick too here. Let's try some of these other ones. All 
All right, so pretty cool. As you can see here, we can just start instantly changing the sounds, and this is a great place to start. These drum beats are a little different for every kit. I have a, the mini file in there, so it's gonna stay the same pattern as, as of for now. Let's try this real quick. Let's get rid of this. Let's put a trigger in here. Let's play a certain beat. Let's keep playing that beat. We could go through some different drum beats for this pattern. So yeah, you can slow the tempo down. Way too slow. So pretty much it's, you know, find something you like. You can start writing your top line or whatever. Or if you have a song that you want to produce with the chords. And obviously I'm doing this very quickly to hear different demo purposes. You're going to want to take some time and tweak your song up or whatever. So pretty cool. So yeah, you can pretty much go endlessly messing around with this stuff until you find something you like. So if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. There are 30 days trials of these plugins available as well. In fact, I'm using a trial right now of the base right here. So anyways, check them out. That is all for now, and I will talk to you soon.